Hello. Welcome to the Tea Party Honey Channel. Well, for all of those of you who thought that your governors loved you and they wanted to keep you safe, well, uh, big city dims who had imposed strict goody virus lockdowns now let George Floyd rioters flout the rules and just do whatever they want. Comprehensive list right here added yesterday. They updated it. Michigan, all of a sudden, Whitmer, the most draconian governor of them all in regards to her citizens, not her husband, who was getting a boat. Um, yeah, suddenly, now that there's all these riots, she's going to let everything open a week early. Well, isn't that convenient timing? And on the fourth day of protest, Newsom tells his demonstrators, your rage is real express it. Even though he's got an actual ban in place that he's being sued, to, to allow protest. But no, no. If you agree with us, then we'll let you riot. And if we agree with you, governor's back. Massive protest after months of banning large gatherings. There is no fear of the cootie anymore, but you still have to wear a mask. Even though I like what I read the other day. Quickest way to make the government stop, stop people from wearing the mask is mandate that it say on the mask Trump 2020 or MAGA. Suddenly, they'll be like, no, nah, you don't need a mask. It's all good. And there is no science behind non-medical mask to begin with. There's not. If there is, put it in the links down below. Want to see it. We'll make a video of it. Governors back massive protests after months of banning large gatherings. Democratic governors said they support large-scale protests. We just seen Newsom's. We just seen Whitmer's. A reversal from mandating social distancing and lockdowns since March. Yeah, and Newsom even has a law saying you can't do it. But on the fourth day of protest, he got out there and said, you go for it. I'm on your side. We don't need a constitution. We don't actually need law and order. I don't really have this job. Because you can't be a governor if you actually, if nobody's supposed to follow the laws, then you don't really have a job. He noted earlier in the day, though the protests could exacerbate the cootie. Oh, this is Cuomo. Ah, uh, yeah, let's see. I stand behind the protesters and their message. New York Governor Cuomo. So Cuomo's in on the game, too. So the bigger the blue, the bigger the dim, the more you just spun 180 on your stance on protest. It was de Blasio who said you couldn't protest in New York City. De Blasio said you could not protest in New York City if you wanted to have opening up because it's just not safe. And now de Blasio's daughter was arrested two days ago for protesting. And he has not come out against them yet. Nope, nope, nope. These dudes are so pro-riot, it's unbelievable, and it's destroying our country. So wait a minute, if the rioters are allowed to do it, and the cooties nothing to fear anymore, who should we be afraid of? <gasps> churchgoers. They're the evil ones. Did you know churchgoers? Do churchgoers have a right to risk infection? While the White House tries to roll back rules on religious gatherings, the Supreme Court reaffirms the public health powers of the state. But the states are saying, riot. Congregate as tight as you want. Your rage is real. Express it. Which is a sharp, which his approach is a sharp contrast to Trump's. Yeah, Trump's like, we don't tear down and break things that don't belong to us. And the governor's like, nah, it's all good. Because what, the, what part of the economy wasn't destroyed by the lockdowns imposed by these governors will be destroyed by the rioters? There's going to be no money for anything. There wasn't any money for anything after April anyways. Now, just, we are collapsing, people. We are really collapsing. Don't know what it's going to look like. But here's the rundown before we close out this video. We have a pandemic. We have a lockdown. We have $26 trillion in debt. We have over 40 million people unemployed. And now we have curfews and riots. Curfews and, and lockdowns. Now, so the curfews and lockdowns. So you're double, you're, you, it's double secret probation if you're on lockdown and curfew. But again, can a country survive a pandemic mixed with a lockdown, mixed 
with $26 trillion in debt mixed with over 40 million citizens unemployed mixed with riots. Can a country survive that? Oh, wait, let's add one more thing to the list. The election is in November, and both parties have already established that it's going to be a fraudulent election. It will be, it will make the election of 2016 and the election of 2000 seem like, oh, those were sure things. Well, actually, they were sure things. But nonetheless, they're going to do it again. So, will we make it into, will we make it to Thanksgiving? Will we have a reason to be thankful? It's not like countries haven't fallen before. It's not like empires haven't fallen before. And remember what Abraham Lincoln said, we'll never be conquered from outside. We will die by suicide. If we are to, if we are to die, if it is our fate to die, we will die by suicide. We will die by suicide. Pandemic? That's not suicide. Lockdown? Oh, yeah, okay, maybe. $26 trillion in debt? Yeah, okay, maybe. 40 million people unemployed because of the lockdown? Yeah, kind of see what you're saying there. And, um, yeah, riots. Yeah. And not only do we have the riots, we have all these governors, blue state governors, thank you, supporting them. The blue state governors supporting the riots. On the fourth day of protest, Newsom tells the demonstrators, rioters, your rage is real. Express it. They're on the side of a collapsing country. I don't think they understand they won't have a job when it's done. And they'll most likely land up alongside of a wall. That's typically what happens. America broke those rules and actually treated the losers rather benignly, actually. Just like, eh, sorry your side lost. Would you like cheese with that? Whereas all the other countries and the ones that these blue state governors idolize, nah, they're more the against the wall when you lose. Here, rest your weary head on this stump. Okay. Have a headache? Not for long. And the list goes on. I don't know if we'll survive this. But if we do, it's going to be something. Because there are so many people fighting to destroy this country. And they're, they're in charge. <laughs> the ones fighting to destroy it are the ones that were elected and sworn to protect the Constitution. And they're doing everything but. Kind of scary. It's a good thing we're all on double secret probation now with curfew and lockdown. Be safe, be careful, and be aware. We'll see you in the future.